Uh, we know, for example, uh, of the importance of cases like the slaughterhouse cases in 1873 and the Cruchet case as well. The U.S. versus Stanley case in 1883 um, is um, discussed a great deal by historians and legal scholars because this court, this case, um, with this case, the Supreme Court declared the Civil Rights Bill of 1875 unconstitutional. This case, um, as you know, um, was a consolidated case, consisted of five cases that came before the Supreme Court and was consolidated. In this case, uh, which is probably one of the most important of the Supreme Court cases, the court found that the 14th Amendment granted Congress the right to regulate only the behavior of states, not private businesses, not individuals. Of course, and then, therefore, it foreshadowed the Plessy decision that would come um, a little more than a decade later. There must be a time, the court stated, when black people cease to be the special favorite of the law and instead take the rank of mere citizens. There would be no time when black people could take the rank of mere citizens. Because as black people on the ground kept protesting, that rank was not available to them. It was not available to Samuel Harrington, who wrote that he simply wanted his wife, and that a white man, John Dungle, held her as a slave. It was not available to Andrew Jackson, who wrote that he wanted his wife, and John fairly held her as a slave. It was not available to uh, two black men in Wilmington, North Carolina, who were sold into slavery in 1866 by the civil authorities in that county. It was not available, excuse me, to persons, men and women, uh, black men and women, who were acquitted, and I think this has continued relevance for our society, who were acquitted on criminal charges, but because they could not pay jail fees, were kept in jail. Some were kept in jail so long, languishing in jail so long, that they could never get out because the fees kept accumulating. They were given a choice. They could sell themselves or stay in jail. <laughs> 